Hello, my name is Sean Francis for Wake Up Singapore. You're watching Wake Up Singapore News. So, should you lose your job for having an affair? On March 12, 2016, MP for Bukit Batok David Ong made a shocking announcement. In a statement released by the Prime Minister's office, David Ong announced his resignation due to personal indiscretions on his part. It was later revealed by the mainstream media that David Ong had an extramarital affair with Miss Wendy Lim, a member of the PAP Women's Wing. While this announcement came as a shock to Singaporeans, it had us thinking, is having an affair a legitimate reason for losing your job? While having an extramarital affair is immoral and largely frowned upon by society, it is not actually a crime in Singapore. In 2007, Section 498 of the Penal Code, which criminalizes adultery, was repealed. This effectively legalized the act of having sexual relations with a married person's spouse. However, incidences of marital infidelity among politicians is by no means uncommon. Some of the most famous politicians have been caught in marital infidelity. In 1998, US President Bill Clinton was accused of having sexual relations with Monica Lewinsky, a charge that he vehemently denied. Throughout his political career, former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi was murdered in several sex scandals, some with girls as young as 17 years old. Even historical figures like JFK were known for sexual promiscuity, and his most famous scandal involved actress and movie icon Marilyn Monroe. In all of these cases, marital infidelity did not spell the end of their political career, and for the most part, they still had a vast amount of support from the general population. But why is this case different for politicians in Singapore? Well, to answer that question, we have to go back to 2012. Well, in that year, Workers' Party MP for Haugang, Yao Xin Leong, was caught in a sex scandal with a married woman from China. Well, the PAP government then exerted intense pressure on the Workers' Party, calling for the party to be accountable and transparent to its residents. The mainstream press then ran headlines questioning the integrity of the party. Well, eventually, the Workers' Party was faced with no choice but to expel Yao. So, this incident set a precedence in Singapore. The PAP government demanded high moral standards, and the Workers' Party set them. This precedent meant that elected MPs could still lose their jobs over indiscretions in their private lives. And this contradicts and contravenes whatever support their residents had for them, or whatever record they had of effective leadership. Ironically, this moral high ground, this moral standard that the PAP had set, would soon come back to haunt them. In December of 2012, Pungal East MP and Speaker of the House Michael Palmer was forced to resign after he had an affair with a People's Association employee named Laura Ong. Now, despite being a popular MP who was elected with a strong mandate, and despite the fact that he held a key appointment in Parliament, the PAP was forced to let Michael Palmer go, or risk losing the moral high ground it set. Now, the same issue has once again arisen with David Ong from the PAP. Which begs the question, should politicians be forced to end their career over a private affair? So, what do you think about this very controversial issue? Let us know in the comment section below, we'd love to hear your opinions. Anyway, if you enjoy our content, like, share and subscribe to this video. And also like us on Wake Up Singapore's Facebook page. It's the best way to keep updated with local news as it breaks. We'll see you next time.